Gara, thanks for having us down today. It's been pretty impressive now coming through the gates. Where are we? And what's your business? Well, Gary, everyone at Grassman is very welcome to Slurry Cat today. This is your first visit to the factory. 2022, start of a new year. Slurry Cat, big changes in the last year here, certainly in terms of the infrastructure in the factory and what you see uh, around with a completely new Welton Hall, which we've just moved into in the last two weeks. Things are, things are going well. The market is very strong, has been very strong this, this last couple of years. Um, it's looking very strong for the rest of this year. We've had our challenges, but um, I think we're in a very firm footing now with the company. We're very strong technically. We've focused a lot in the last five to six years on the product. And uh, everything you see here today will have uh, one thing that's in common, quality. So quality is a huge thing we're chasing every day of every week of every year here and it's passion of mine that to make something good quality. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's very apparent to see that when you walk through the factory, even down to the very machines you are using to actually manufacture the product. Everything's top drawer and you have put in a lot of work there as well. Well, thank you for that. Uh, it's nice that it shows because 15 years ago, I didn't know an awful lot about manufacturing. I'd have known more about cutting silage and spreading slurry. Um, look, I served my time as a welder, so I know metal fabrication and welding, that end of things, but building and the manufacturing business from nothing was something new, so it was. Um, there's so many things we learn. We're still learning every day. We're building a team. There's new team players coming in every month, every year. We're building that team, and as I've already said, quality is is a big thing for us here and um, yet yeah, we've introduced the latest technology. In 2021 we made a big investment in a laser, a flatbed laser with an automation system. We traditionally had uh, two uh, CNC thermal plasmas which we were cutting all our material with, all the, so all the, the cut and folded parts which you see on the equipment and the tankers and the dribble bars everything. Um, and we just Again, quality, we, it's the downstream benefits of the laser, the precision in the holes, the action of the part numbers, no cleaning of the parts. You see in the kitten hall where the cut parts are coming in there and then they pick them into kits. You'll see all the tankers. Every tanker has uh, a, its own unique set of drawings from which it's manufactured and the kits uh, are all made up of those parts that come off the laser. Um, look, we, we went that bit further and we did, we went automation on the laser to get the benefit and the performance and the output out of the laser, the automation where it loads itself, it offloads itself. Um, but it was a huge uh, investment for us, but I think it'll, it'll pay off in the years to come. And one of the other things which we invested with the laser was a nitrogen gas generator. So we're cutting with nitrogen. Nitrogen's an inert gas, which is very clean. Um, and the precision of the cut and the parts are a lot cleaner and cutting with nitrogen, especially stainless steel. There's a lot of the components here you'll see on the equipment now. We're moving more to stainless steel and all the benefits that gives, but it's quite difficult to cut. And that's where the laser cutting with the nitrogen is a huge advantage. And we're no longer relying on deliveries with trucks, bringing gas onto the site. So we're generating it ourselves, but look, there's a cost and investment with it, but we took it as an overall package that we think it's worth doing. But is it fair to say you're getting it more to where you want it to be and your vision of Slurry Cat now? Absolutely. Vision is a big thing. Values link to vision. Our vision, you see the boards around the factory and in the offices, um, is to be the world's number one. And it's, it's a case of aim for the stars and land on the moon. But every day we're, we're all working as a team. Whether you're here, you're cutting parts, you're in the stores picking kits of components, whatever you're doing, you're all part. We, I, I'm into the value of that team for that vision is to be the number one. And even you talk about value there, Garth. That's what you're pushing with your product as well. That's not the actual initial cost. That's more the cost of ownership and residuals, everything. So am I right in saying that? Yes, absolutely. And you see right through the process, 
from the steel we use, Tata Steel, they're our main supplier for 90% of our material. You'll see on the tags on the raw material that the, the plates are 355. It's a very high yield steel and what that means is it cuts very well, it folds very well and it also means that we can take a little bit of weight out of the product because as you know, on a typical, what we know from the contract on the John Deere tractor, 150 horsepower tractor, we know that a ton is about 1.3, 1.4 litres per hour. So all that weight over the life of the machine makes a big difference, and especially with the high fuel prices um, where we are, what we've seen in the last year and where we're going in the future and the drive for greener, less dependency on fossil fuels. The product itself, you see everything we're doing, there's quality all over it, and quality, quality comes with a cost. But I'm more focused in letting the customers understand that the lifetime ownership of our product, the cost of the ownership, is much, much less than anything that's out there. So if you look at the initial purchase cost in day one, yes, we're going to be that little bit more. We're not much more. From the value and the paint, if you look at our paint, our paint now, the paint we're using, uh, it's a PPG paint, um, full acrylic, seven year warranty we're given on that, which is unseen throughout the industry. I think beyond 12 months in the industry is about all you're offered. We weren't five years warranty, and now we've moved that to seven. And that was done with a very detailed quality process with PPG, where they come in, they analyzed everything, what we're doing, the steel we're using, our blasting process, everything a cleaning or prep process of the product and right down to the temperature of the primers applied at the temperature of the the gloss on top of the primer and the flash off times between that that is a very specialized process and we've worked very well with ppg to do that and that's why we're able to offer that to the customer they're the ultimate beneficiary of that You also have another very unique tool in your arsenal and we were out with Tam and your contracting fleet. Now, you use run that a lot for your research and development side of things. Uh, like, tell us a wee bit about that. Tim's a very good asset too, as you know. Tim's part of the furniture here. He's been here 15 years now, and very knowledgeable guy. Seen the company from contracting to started in the manufacturing. He's really responsible for the run of the contracting. Um, but uh, yes, as you say, the contracting allows us in-house to design things which you see here in the factory today. On the side, alongside of the normal production items, and it allows us to test them, go to real situations in, in Northern Ireland, on real farms and every day you're in a different farm because um, you know 
The slurry can vary so much on a farm, never mind from farm to farm. You can get to two or three different types and as the tank goes down, it changes as well. So understanding that slurry cat, we're just not a manufacturer. This is, a, this is nearly like a way of life here and we understand what our end users need to do with the product. And we've learned so much in those 20 odd years of contract and we're able to bring that right through from the start. We're always going forward with quality and learning that technical that technical input we have from the contract and the guy sitting on the seat of the tractor doing the spreading, which you saw back in October with Tim. Um, Tim's there, Tim's very heavily involved in slurry cat as well as the contract. And, and those wee things, even the position of a hydraulic hose, Garth, could we look at this, change this a wee bit? Could we move that and move that? Small things that people don't even notice, but people do notice they maybe change things regularly with, especially contractors change every couple of years. Oh, this has changed from the last one. And I'm actually going, well, there's actually about six changes from then, because, I mean, we get, we get changed from one batch to the next on a, a dribble bar, a reeler, a tanker. We're always putting that stuff. And it's the ability to take that information from the field, put it into design, and put it into the finished product within a, a matter of weeks. And that's one of the strengths of Story Cat. And when we're on the R&D side of things, and I think this is probably going to be another video for us when we come back. The user and developing a shed down the back at the moment, which is pure analysis really of slurry. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yep, so that's for the future. We'll, we'll go into it in more detail, yep. but to give you a, a summary of it, we have a thousand cubic meters of underground slurry storage, shuttered tanks up to a depth of five meters on the site, and we've, we've put a building over the top of that, and that is to, Next level. To, that's really to take the product, get information that we can't get now currently with the contracting business because we can pump a thousand cubic meters of slurry and Tim can go to the fuel tank and go, right, that's took whatever number of litres to do that and it's so much per litre. But we don't really know the exact pressure, the exact flow, how bends and things and changing the slurry in different directions, how that affects absorbed power, how it affects pressures. With this rig, this is state of the art, yeah. and as, as I understand globally, there's going to be nothing like this. Well, I think we'll come back and see that in more detail because that's really interesting stuff, and it ties in with your slogan, follow the leader. Yeah. But, Garth, it's not just slurry here as well, there's trailers. Yeah. And behind you here, there's a one going, like a, this isn't a local trailer either, this is going to Canada, I believe. That's right, yep. It's going to Ontario and Canada. And trailers, again, was a spin-off of the original look. It's in our name, it's on the brand. Slurry, it's what we do. That's our speciality and that's our focus. But we also saw an opportunity that we could uh, expand into trailers. And again, driven by the contracting business, I made my first trailers back in 2000, 2001 for myself when I started cutting silage in those early years. Um, and look, they were pretty basic, so they were. Again, weight, stability, and strength is core to the, what we want to do. We want a light trailer that's very strong. If you take the half pipe, which we've run in our contract business, 20, 22 foot, that's the sort of Northern Ireland standard now, so it is. And we're uh, 1.1 tons on the same size later than the nearest manufacturer. We're now looking at more specialized trailers. What you see these trailers here, uh, this customer came to us back in 2019 and said, you build us 25 ton dump trailers, tandem, 7, 10, 26.5, the big tire, which was something similar you would see on the larger tankers, heavy running gear, stable, stable when they're tipped up, and, uh, but he also wanted the weight down. So these are made, the body's completely 100% hard ox. The chassis is made um, Tata material again, 355. And uh, if you want something different, look, I have an interest in doing things that are different and require a wee bit of development. Well, Gareth, listen, thanks for the chat. It's been brilliant to see you around. And we'll definitely be back up to see the, the R&D shed. Absolutely, you're very welcome to do that. We look forward to doing that in the future. Thank you very much. 
Oh, 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 oh,